Variety Immigration Law is a great resource for the latest in immigration news and trends. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps out the channel. And click that notification bell so you never miss a video from Berardi Immigration Law. Hi everyone, Rosanna Berardi from Berardi Immigration Law with our weekly Tuesday video. Well, this past Friday, we attended an immigration conference and lucky for us, the U.S. Consular General, Susan Crystal of the U.S. Consulate in Toronto was one of the speakers. It was super interesting to hear from her regarding the e-visa appointments. Now, if you followed our videos or you're a client at the firm or you're trying to get an investor's visa in the U.S., you know the wait times have been terrible. Super frustrating, you know, waits for over a year. And we actually learned why, why this is. Well, it was back, the appointments were backed up because in Toronto, they were locked down during COVID a lot longer than we were here in the United States. So the embassy employees weren't able to actually go in and do their jobs. Luckily for us now, that's behind us. Um, the U.S. Consulate in Toronto has doubled their staffing. They are really working hard at getting appointments back online. The average wait time right now for an appointment is four months, which isn't terrible at all in our industry. And if you hold an E1 or E2 visa, they're waiving a lot of the appointments. So good news coming from the U.S. Consular General from the immigration conference we attended. And if you have any questions regarding your E1 or E2 visa, give us a call. Be sure to like this video and share it with your friends. And until next week, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification button so you never miss one of these important updates. Also, check out the Berardi blog that's on our website at berardiimmigrationlaw.com. The blog is updated two to three times a week, contains tons of up-to-date information on policies and trends. You won't want to miss it.